Here we are again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, my illustrious family. Right here in the mental house, welcome. And I'm going to try this premiere live. And uh seems to be something that I can work with right now. Uh, until I can just sit down the whole entire program um, with you live. So I am in the comments se section coming back and forth. So that seems to work out really well for me right now while I continue to manage my household um, and uh, do this. Because some of this stuff I really need to talk about. And this was an article that hurts me uh, very much because this is the kind of interaction with ourself and the self-hatred that we are inflicting upon ourselves that is just unacceptable. North Carolina boy was 12 and he opened fire and kills a home intruder that was 19 who shot his 73-year-old grandmother in the leg. See, we are traumatizing our children. Um, to the extent that you're wondering why we're wondering or we don't have a clue to why our children are wilding out and becoming a, a um, how should I say, having adult experiences way before it's time, which creates all kinds of madness because it makes the other society looks at them as um, much older than they are and put much more on them because they feel that they innately can handle it when it might not be necessarily the case to still children. But children that are filled with trauma are just that, traumatized children that grow up to be traumatized adults and that end up continuing to traumatize the community or you know if we're fortunate enough they'll they'll be able to get the help that they need and um realize that most of the stuff that goes on in the hood is just a matter of self hatred right um because let me say something and I want y'all to agree with me or disagree with me before I get into the article. I think you can only operate off of two stimuluses in this universe. Either you love or you're in fear. And at first I didn't understand that. It took a while for me to get it because I wanted to go against the grain and disagree with it. But I was humbled by that assessment and reality that you can only operate from one of those stimuluses. Yes, in my opinion, uh, both of them can occupy um, a space in your heart, but not at exactly the same time, right? Sometimes when you operate in fear, it's the things you say. You know? And sometimes it's the things you do. However, when you operate in love, your doing is a lot different. And it is attainable regardless of your color. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you go and pay your if you pay your electric bill, you should be able to go and switch your light on and it should work regardless of your color. The the you know, the principle of using this electricity thing, even though somebody is charging you for it, the principle and the uh, ability to be able to use that the uh, uh, phenomena is not is not limited to your color, and that's the way most things are in the universe. 
unless somebody throw the monkey wrench in your thinking. So your job is to get past the stinking thinking, like I always say. And, um, you know, once you do, it makes these kind of articles right here just so hard. So hard to bring and to tolerate because and sometimes, you know, you can't, if, you, if we contend we're in a war, we can't do it if we have a lot of friendly fire, is what they call it. Us killing our own selves. It's impossible. So, this article I wanted to share, you know, is very disturbing. Two armed men enter the home of Linda Ellis, 73, in Goldsboro, North Carolina, about 1 a.m. on Saturday night. They demanded money and shot Ellis in the leg. Ellis's 12-year-old grandson shot a firearm at the intruder and they fled. Khalil Harry, 19, was found at an intersection a half a block from the apartment. Police said they found evidence that he was one of the suspects. Heron was taken to the hospital, but he died of his injuries. Ellis is in the hospital in stable condition, and her grandson is said to be holding up. He's traumatized, y'all. He had to shoot and kill somebody that broke into the house that he shared with his grandma. So, he was shot. Um, the, the North Carolina man who died on Saturday after he broke into the 73-year-old's home was shot by her uh, 12 year old grandson. Now, I, I want to know what y'all think about this. You know, so a lot of us don't want to talk about this. We only want to talk about the police killing us. We don't want to talk about, you know, the trauma that we putting on each other. Two mass robbers entered the home of Linda Ellis and demanded money and shot the 73 year old in the leg. It, you know, Khalil Heron again was take. He was found about half a block from the house at an intersection, dead in the street. So, again, traumatizing that even the people that had to encounter that on the public sidewalk. Think about this. You know, I mean, a 12 year old juvenile occupant of the resident shot at the suspect with a firearm in self defense. He came, they came in a house. I opened the door, I opened it, and they came in there. Randolph Bunn, who is Ellis's son, um, and the boy's grand uncle told ABC. The one guy had a gun. They put me down on the ground. Ellis was the one in the kitchen. I don't even know why they shot her. The intruder just shot his grandma. He would have shot him too. He would have shot me too. He would have killed all of us. But Bud added that the 12 year old's action saved their lives. Ellis' great niece, Shaquita Coley, added that she couldn't believe it when she received a call about the attempted robbery. My phone was constantly ringing and ringing and ringing. I just couldn't believe she had been shot. Why would somebody 
come into her house to do this to her. This got to stop, she continued. Her aunt, she continued, was a much loved figure in the community. I don't know what they were thinking around here, but this has got to stop. Charges won't be expected to be brought against the 12 year old, but the investigation is ongoing. Coley said that the young boy and the rest of the family is holding it together. Police say they have yet to make other arrests regarding the second suspect who came into the home. And then they asked if you have any knowledge about this crime, you know, contact the Wayne County area and it's uh, called Crime Stoppers at 919-735-735. Two two five five. Now, like I said, I'm in and out of the comments section. Y'all think that we are destroying ourselves from within? I talk a lot about America destroying herself from within. What do you think about us as black people? Round, uh, melanated people. And when I say brown, I, you know, I, I want to make sure I'm clear. Adolf. I need to know. So if y'all dis disagree with me, let's keep the conversation going. You know, tell me how you feel in the comment section. Again, I'm in and out of it. I'm definitely monitoring it, seeing um, your comments. And we'll see you in the next video. This is just asinine. Insane.